Hello and welcome to another episode of Coin Show. Today's show will feature a 5 francs Belgian silver coin from 1868. Let's first have a look at the coin. Minted in 1868, the coin is almost 150 years old. It shows the appropriate wear for that age. As you can especially see um, in the beard of the figurehead and uh, there also is a little bit of edge damage around here. I would rate the coin as in condition fine. It has a diameter of 37.5 millimeters. It weighs 25 grams uh, with 90% uh, silver content corresponding to 22.5 grams or 0.7 2 ounces of silver. Mintage was 6,751,000 and the obverse shows the head of King Leopold II facing left, flanked by Leopold II, Roi des Belges, Leopold II, King of the Belgians. On the reverse, uh, the coin displays, of course, the denomination, Saint-Fon, five francs, and in the center, the crowned heraldic lion, the Belgian coat of arms. The lettering at the top edge reads L'Union fait la force, which translates into In unity lies strength. The lower edge shows the date of mintage, 1868, the lion, the denomination and the crown are embraced by two olive twigs. On the edge we can see three stars and a motto. This is kind of difficult to recognize, so I'll just read it to you. Dieu protège la Belgique, God protects Belgium. So now let's come to the second part of the show, which will give a little bit of a background, especially Leopold II, who is featured on this coin. Belgium is a small European country located between the Netherlands to its north and France in its south. And Leopold II was born 9th of April 1835 and he became the second king of the Belgians in 1865. Leopold II reigned for 44 years until his death in December of 1909 and in Belgium Leopold II is perceived nowadays mainly as the king builder as he commissioned a fair number of buildings in several cities in Belgium and the buildings include for instance the royal glass houses at Laken, the Musée du Congo which is nowadays called the Royal Museum for Central Africa in Tervuren and the Antwerp train station hall. And he founded these buildings actually with his private money and then donated the buildings to the, to the state. However, outside of Belgium, Leopold is chiefly remembered as the personal owner of the Congo Free State, which is nowadays the Democratic Republic of Congo. And in principle, Leopold had his personal colony from which he extracted rubber and ivory by means of human slavery. And that was where his wealth actually came from. And this is how the scheme worked. In 1876, Leopold organized a private holding company, which was called Association Internationale Africaine, uh, which was disguised as an international scientific and philanthropic association but in reality the company was used to get control of the Congo and local chiefs were tricked into selling their land and finally Leopold became the sole ruler of a population that was estimated at the time of to be 30 million people. Without a constitution, without national or international supervision and the natives were required to provide the state officials with set quotas of rubber and of ivory at a fixed government mandated price and to enforce the rubber quotas a paramilitary force was established which 
was called the Force Publique. And the officers of this Force Publique were white and they acted as agents of the state while most of the soldiers were black. Armed with modern weapons and the chicot, a bullwhip, the Force Publique routinely took and tortured hostages, which were mostly women, because the men had to collect the robber. And human hands were actually taken as trophies on the orders of white officers to show that bullets had not been wasted. And it's estimated that up to 10 million people were killed during the time of the Congo Free State and under the rule of Leopold II. At the end of today's show I would like to give you again a better look of the coin with the head of Leopold II and on the reverse the Belgium coat of arms nicely decorated. This was it for today. Thanks for watching Coin Show and bye.